Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Twitter header. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Twitter.com recently updated their website and added this header area. So now you have the option of personalizing your Twitter just a little bit more by adding a header image behind your name and your Twitter username and your bio. So first of all, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to get this feature for those of you who have no idea how to. And then I'll introduce you guys to a new template that I made for this. And uh, we're going to open it up in Photoshop. I'm going to add a really simple effect. Uh, but mainly, I just want you guys to take the template, uh, use your own designing skills, design it yourself, and then uh, come up with something really cool on your own. I've said this before, the main reason why I don't really teach you guys how to design a really, really cool thing is because if everyone starts designing it, then it's the same exact thing. And then it kind of defeats the purpose of having a custom header. So with that being said, what we want to do is click on this little uh, gear, I guess, right here. And then we're going to click on settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go to your design. And we're going to scroll down. And now you have an option for a header. So once you're done actually taking the Photoshop file and editing it and stuff, all you need to do is upload that header and it'll automatically pop up. So with that being said, you want to click on the link in the video description below to download the Photoshop file, the Photoshop template that I made uh, for this Twitter header. And it's going to look something like this. Now you could use it as is if you want, uh, but I'll just be teaching you guys how to add this starburst effect in the background and how to change this little outer glow on your icon. So what I'm going to do is, well, let's get rid of everything to begin with. And we're just going to start with the plain template. So for the background, I already have my color set. Uh, I usually like using this light blue color with a hex code of 0182AC. Now to create that starburst effect is really simple. I've showed you guys in numerous other tutorials. We're going to make a new file with a width of 1000 pixels and a height of 1000 pixels and press OK. What we're going to do is uh, click on the gradient tool. Make sure we have a black to white gradient selected. Then just click and drag from the bottom to the top to make that gradient. And next, we're going to go into Filter and hover over Distort and click on Wave. Now, we want to kind of just mess with the number of generators to uh, have a good amount. Um, you want these type of lines to start showing up. And then we're just going to press OK. It's going to look something like this. And then we're going to go to Filter, hover over Distort one last time, and click on Polar Coordinates. And there's our effect. Make sure it's rectangular to polar, which it should be the default, and press OK. And now all we need to do is click and drag this over to our Twitter template. And to get rid of this black, we're going to change the blending mode to screen. And I'm just going to put this below the icon. And there we go. Now we could use uh, the eraser tool to kind of soften up these edges a little bit if we want, if we use a big size. Uh, and that's looking pretty good. Um, and now all we want to do is add that outer glow to the icon. Uh, you could do several different things to make your icon pop out. We can add a stroke. Uh, we could add that outer glow. Uh, we could add a drop shadow. All things that you wouldn't normally be able to do on your Twitter account. But with this template, you're able to do. So I'm just going to click on outer glow with a blending mode of normal and an opacity of 100%. Spread 0 and a size of 10 pixels. I just added a dark blue outer glow color with a hex code of 004055. And that's it. We are done with our Twitter background. Now, this is what you're going to get with a template if you download it. But I highly recommend that you guys just take this, design something really cool for yourself, and then you guys can upload it to your Twitter account, and you're going to have a really cool header. Uh, after you change that and press Save Changes, you can go back to your profile, and you'll have a header set up just like this. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys learned something new today. Until next time, I will see you guys later.